Hello, Giants fans, and welcome to Valentine's Views here on YouTube. I'm Ed Valentine of Big Blue View. Please remember to uh, like and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube if you if you like what you hear. All right, uh, let's get right to it today. I uh, heard on uh, Thursday that the Giants placed rookie tight end Daniel Bellinger on the physically unable to perform list, otherwise known as the PUP list. With a quad injury, that means that Bellinger will not be practicing when the Giants open training camp, uh, have their first practice next Wednesday, July 27th. Listen, this is not uh, news that anyone wanted to hear as uh, as training camp opens, as a new season opens. We've seen way too many injuries over the years with the Giants, way too many players missing games, missing practice time. It's never, ever good for a rookie, especially, to to miss practice time. And Bellinger is obviously a player, having watched a lot of the spring practices, obviously a player that the Giants are, uh, are hoping will do good things for them in 2022. Bellinger spent a lot of time in the spring working with the Giants' first team offense, working with Daniel Jones. He's a guy who... Uh, who catches pretty much everything thrown his way, has enough speed to threaten the seam, can do a lot of things for the Giants offensively. No idea at this point how serious Bellinger's injury is. We will begin to find that out middle of next week when we get to uh, when we get to training camp, when we get a chance to talk to Brian Dable, when we get a chance to see uh, the Giants in action, but you know, not a good, not a good way for Bellinger to start. Uh, but uh, but let's not freak out until we uh, until we know more about the severity of his injury. Let's hope that he's back on the field as quickly as possible. Just a couple quick notes about the pup list. Players on pup in training camp do count against the ninety man roster. They can be activated to practice as soon as they pass a physical, as soon as they are healthy. Players who begin the regular season on the PUP list do not count against the 53-man roster. Under new NFL rules, a player who starts the, the regular season on the PUP list misses at least the first four games uh, gets uh, gets to practice for at least two weeks after that uh, while the team makes a decision on whether or not to activate that player. So a player who starts the regular season on pup would miss a minimum of four games less than you know less than 25 percent of a uh, of a 17 game regular season. A couple of other players who will probably land on pup before, the uh, training camp begins are Nick Gates rehabbing from that horrific leg injury last year and Matt Pert, who suffered the uh, torn ACL near the end of the 2021 season. I don't think either one of those guys is going to be ready in training camp. When it comes to Gates in particular, I'd be surprised if uh, if we see Nick Gates at all in the 2022 season. But, uh, you know, we will uh, at Big Blue View, we will make sure that we keep you guys up to date on all of the injuries, on all of the roster moves, on everything you need to know about training camp as we get underway here with the Giants in just a few days. So please, as I said at the top, you know, like and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to us on uh, on Big Blue View Radio wherever you listen to podcasts. Check us out on Twitter at Big Blue View. Check us out on Instagram at Big underscore Blue. Check out our Facebook page. Join the community at BigBlueView.com to, uh, a a as we do our best to keep you guys abreast of all of the Giants news and information that you need in getting ready for a new and exciting 2022 season. All right, Giants fans, thank you as always, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.